We'll settle down in a minute, I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? We're live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If I, oh. said, if I hadn't have said that, would you have? Uh... I'd have gone on to describe that the fact that my browser or my system is currently running. Oh, it's calming down now. I sort of panicked when it gets to ninety percent, right? And it's it's dropping nicely now. So I know that we're live, and I can uh, close my other browser tabs and concentrate totally, totally on the show. And that's a lot better. We're now down to, oh, we're going down 56%. Have you changed your camera at all? Sorry? Have you changed the height of your camera? I must change my height. Why? Oh, there you go. Is that better? Yeah, well, I mean, as long as we see your face, it doesn't matter. But it's, I, I just oh, think right. you get so used to to things, right? Okay. Well, you can't see, you can't see my body all. Hang on, what do I look like? That's first fine. <laughs> I'm uh, being cut off, am I? Oh, uh, everything's going to hell now. Well, yeah, who's who's arrived? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just going to go over to my profile, and basically, uh, the thing is that what I didn't do was to actually check how it looked on camera. So, Oh, don't look. I'll do that now. I'll do now. <laughs> All right, Hello, it looks okay. And that, well, Stephen's doing that. Welcome <laughs> to uh, what? Are we, what is this? What are we called? Broadcasting to your community. <laughs> Indeed, we're we live are. Tips, humor, and other stuff. And right now, Stephen's doing the other stuff. Indeed, and, I am doing the other stuff. Um, uh, yeah, we've gone live everywhere, and. Uh, yeah, I can. Everything is looking reasonably okay, so I'm going to come back. Robert Stern is here, uh, and actually, Robert, I, I'm hoping you'll come on here um, if you got some time. Guy Cooks out there, hello, Fonz Chamberlain, hello, um, yeah. Robert. I got to go. Robert has a Facebook ebook out. He does. Yes. And I was. I was say I was working at the radio station this morning, and I was looking at it, and I'm. I want. I'm going to purchase it. It's only five dollars. Uh, that's true. Like, That's I mean, I, 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 even someone like myself who there, there may be a lot of stuff in there I already know, but I'm imagining there'll be a lot of stuff in there. I don't know. So, um, I, yeah, uh, there is a lot of stuff in there and, uh, I recommend it and uh, given my, you, you have it, do you? I got it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Cause it's only out. For, it's only, it's being withdrawn from circulation. Yeah. So and five dollars uh, will it'll help you out, and five dollars will help Robert out. I don't have no yep. problems. All right, so win, maybe win. Robert on, and uh, I'd welcome him to come on and talk about it if he wants to. Yeah. And Fonz Chamberlain, he'll be on my show later this afternoon. We'll be talking Excellent. about it. Uh, Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, MB Wilson, who's from my area as well. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Mr. I, I always tease him. Mr. Wilson, <laughs> but he knows what I'm talking. They're from Dennis the Menace, right? Yeah, that's going back a bit. That's, that's going true. way back. Oh yes. Yeah. Are, are you familiar with who Tim Roth is? Tell me a bit more, and I'm, I'll I'll see if I, so, I can. Uh, he's a British actor. Um, yeah. And he was in like Reservoir Dogs and yeah. uh, uh, Pulp Fiction, and uh, he's played. Uh, Dutch Schultz and yeah, okay. Guys. Anyway, yeah. I, I come, I'm really stuck on Prime Video. Amazon Prime has some yeah. amazing originals. Oh yeah, I totally agree. And uh, I'm watching one called Tin Star that he's uh -huh. like the lead in, and wow. <laughs> I, I see. The problem is, is I, I I don't watch a lot of television. All right. For the simple fact that I work at home. Mm -hmm. And like, if I get hooked on these things, then I don't get anything done. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yes, but uh, occasionally it's just good to chill in front of an Amazon original. Yeah, yeah. We started on this one last night. When I say we, because I started on it, and then Jennifer was like, "What's this about?" She started watching it. And then I came into the studio last night to do my Twitch talk. Uh -huh. 
And uh, I come up a few hours later, and she'd watched five episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have I was some. Like, hey, you're watching this without me. You, you're not allowed to do that. I'll tell you what. We we started. Uh, we must be in parallel because we started watching Homecoming last night. Oh. Yeah. Uh, with Julia Roberts, and uh, that's very good too. Um, I'll put your show on my list if you put my show on your list because Homecoming. Okay is a psychological thriller um I watched it's got, it's got, is that the one where she works in the like the medical facility that's correct yeah you see that I, I watched the first episode of it and i wasn't well that's the problem we watched the first episode and we thought hang on there's another 20 minutes to go yet when we're going to get some meat where's the beef oh <laughs> yeah but, so we what we watched the second episode and then you get used to the fact that it's only half an hour long which right. is counterintuitive because everything we expect to be 50 minutes to an hour long. Right. Um, and it, I just, I'm, I've got into it now. I've got into okay. it. So All right. So I can give it a second chance. Yeah. And Eddie's saying he's, he's a tin star man too. Yes. We watched a tin star too. Not hard to get hooked on a stream. Yeah. Uh, Robert says he's on a call. He's on a call, but thanks. He, I know he appreciates the uh, okay. promotion. I, I will be going to uh, buy that. I, I'll do it at the end of the show because I don't want to miss out on that. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody who's stopping by, and uh, you know, I see most of you have already figured out where you have to uh, go to share your comments. Um, but uh, go above here, above the horns. There's a link. Make sure you're watching yeah. from here so we can see your questions and your comments. And our chat bot is working today. So if you want to join us on camera as a guest, we'd love to have you join us. We we don't just talk about live streaming. We'll talk we just talk about movies. So I'm going to talk about and everything. Talk Type about in the comments below and uh, we'll send you a link yeah. so that you can click and join us. Yeah. Um, True. Sorry, the, the, God, the, reason the URL of the list. What list is he talking about? The list, the list. I don't know. Oh, the, you're on the list. Can you explain a bit more, Guy? Because that's that's foxed, fox the two of us. I'm um, going to go and get uh, Robert Stearns. Ah, oh, right. Okay. A link, and I'll post right, that. Okay. Well, what's there is getting giving streams. Okay. Oh, maybe he means like the shows we're talking about. Yeah, could be, could be. Yeah, we we don't have a great list of the shows. I mean, there are uh, certainly three shows that I know of this week. The major one is Fonds on Friday, which is a twelve-hour charity event in aid of the blood cancer charity, and that's one that David is on. I believe David, you're actually up at seven a.m. in the morning to go live on the show. No, I'm not. No, you're not. No. Um... I changed. I was. I was to be on in the morning. Okay. I, uh, it's shop local week, so I'm on the radio all week. Okay. So I'm on at five o'clock in the afternoon. Very good. My time. That's uh, that, that's a day. It, that's the time we switch shows. Because we can only broadcast for four hours, so we're going from nine. Well, it's going to be interesting, but it's going to be a good day. Oh yeah, only four hours. Yeah, so we've got a 12 hour broadcast. We're going to split into three, four hour sections uh, to make sure it all gets recorded. Um, but uh, it's going to be a full day. Fonz has gone to Trello.com and he set up each half hour of the show across the top and then underneath exactly what's happening. I don't think I've ever uh, used that yet. Uh, it's, it's a dream. Um, is free and you can just go it got 99 30 9 30 to 10 10 to 10 30 and so on right up till 9 p.m in the evening and underneath he's put who's on the each half hour and what resources are needed each half hour okay and you just pressed the link i did um i should have posted more but we'll pin that um uh, right okay and we're talking about different amazon shows we are now we benefit from the fact i mean we're both on twitch 
and yeah. Amazon Prime comes in very handy for that. And oh yeah, so, yeah, we get to watch the films and the TV serials as well. So TV shows, so that's all good. Yeah, I mean, uh, you get uh, special delivery on your Amazon. You get uh, Amazon Prime Video. Yeah. You get special. You don't just get a. So you can use your on Twitch. You can use that to subs one free subscription to a yeah. Twitch. Channel. Which you subscribe to me, and then thank you for that. And when you hit affiliate, you know what I'll be doing. Um, and there's lots of other things on Twitch that you get because of Amazon Prime as well. Like they'll yeah. say, okay, you can get loot for these games, and then we'll offer you this. And it's so I, I think there's something like 21 reasons to have Amazon Prime. Yeah. I don't know. That. Right. And the, the BeLive.tv channel had its first gamer on there last night. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, they um, try to describe it. It was like watching somebody in a foreign language, but it wasn't a foreign language. They were just talking about gaming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was for, for you. <laughs> uh, that's what I mean. I'm being totally open here, but Be Live TV uh, is now Twitch forward Be Live official, and uh, there was a young lady. I'm going to say a young gentleman as well on there last night with their first show, and it's going to be on on Sundays. And uh, they've got the gamers involved as well as I mean, you do the same on your show. Um, yeah, on the point, it's called right. Yeah, that's the one. Um, so I watched some of the replay this morning, and it was quite intriguing. Yeah, I haven't. Uh... I'm 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 working on bringing it up here right now. Okay, that's good. Show everybody. There's the channel. Yeah. So this most recent video that's probably from last night, right there. It is. There you are. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, and and this is. Um, hopefully it's not too laggy hey guys sorry so i i actually turned my computer off because i'm a <laughs> technical genius and told him just heard me explain all this i'm gonna explain it again because i thought we were live again we weren't um i learned it at a yeah okay so there's uh that's it that's part of the channel there and i forget her name but i i uh oh I was I had actually reached out to her and, and chatted with her to have her on okay. the show. Yeah. She's really busy right now, so and and this is I guess she's part of Be Live official or whatever. So yeah, yeah that's good. Right. Let's see how's and Be Live's uh, got ninety followers. Uh -huh. So they're close to affiliate. How are you making out in that world of, of uh, it's reaching? It's funny you should mention that, David. Thank you, David. Uh, if you're watching the show today and you're on Twitch and you're not following my account, this is a please, could you follow my account? Uh, I'm currently at, uh, you've got to have four criteria to get affiliate status. If you get affiliate status, then you can actually uh, start to make money for the first time ever on live video. You've got to broadcast for uh, eight hours a month, eight, which I've done because I'm broadcast. I've broadcast for ten hours so far. You've got to broadcast, broadcast on, on seven, seven different, different days. days. Well, I've broadcast, broadcast on, on twenty-one, 21 different, different days so far. So far. So that could that covered. And, and also, also uh, you've, you've got, got to have, have um, t t three, three average, average viewers, viewers per, per, per show. show. I'm at, I'm at 2.92. 2.92? 2.92. 2. 2. 2. You just okay. feel it, can't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all it's there. It's so close. close. And, 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 and Ed is just, just an echo. echo. So, yes, fixed. Right. Okay, thank you. Um, 2.92 out of 3. Now, what's going to happen, I can see, I've looked at the chart, and the earlier shows I did will drop off. And then we'll go over three, which leaves just one obstacle. And you've got to have 50 followers. At the moment, I have 42. So uh, I just uh, I just need eight people to follow me, and it will all will be good. Um, so 
I'm enjoying the journey because you, you described it early this year. It is a, the gamified it. So you are progressing through a series of logical a series of steps. And uh, I'm quite I'm enjoying being over there. It's good fun. It's totally different from being over here. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally different type of shows. Uh, for sure. Well, good luck with that. I mean, you'll get you. there. And yes, everybody, it's just uh, Stephen Healy. If you go to twitch.tv uh, slash Stephen Healy. Yeah. That's I where you'll find me. All right. Okay. And Ed is saying, what are these levels for? I missed it. When we broadcast on Facebook, Ed, we're broadcasting for our own amusement and to grow our brand uh, recognition. So people get to know who we are. And um, but we cannot charge. We can't do adverts during the show, and it's very difficult to actually make money on Facebook. Twitch is a totally different situation. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Amazon are a marketing company, and they understand that people want to make money from doing what they love. So there is an affiliate scheme. There are currently 230,000 affiliates worldwide, all of whom are making money out of broadcasting. David is one of them, and I want to be one of them too. Uh, it's a very select club. You have to meet the four criteria, and they are difficult to meet when you get when you first start off. But the thing is, we have an audience. Well, David's about to start from scratch because nobody from Facebook was on there when he started, and he's now got over 300 followers. But anybody actually going over to uh, Twitch can actually become an affiliate by fulfilling the four criteria. Once you've done that, you can then attract subscribers and subscribers pay you to watch your premium content. And during the course of the show, they can literally throw money at you if they like what you're doing. And you've had that happen, haven't you, Debbie? Uh, yeah, it's, it's become, uh, it's become regular. Most broadcast, yep. I usually gain, uh, anywhere from two to five followers and I usually get a subscribe, at least one subscriber. And uh, bits are thrown at me too. Now, keep in mind, folks, you don't have to pay to watch anybody's channel, mm. um, but you will see ads. And it's really, it's a community environment that says, this is how it works around here. I like what you're doing. I will, as Steven says, throw some money at you. Now, you can throw a penny or you can throw a free subscription if you have Amazon Prime to paying for a subscription that starts at $4.99 to uh, purchasing the video game that that person is playing. There's a lot of different ways. Um, one of my favorite ways, I mean, it's great in, in any particular way, but I have set up uh, um, a donation link. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you give me 100 bits, it takes about a month for that to process. Okay. Twitch takes a piece, and if you get a subscriber for four ninety nine, you get a piece, and Twitch gets a piece. If you donate to me through my donate button, it all comes to me. So there's there's different options, but yeah, all the different that's, options that's give you different things too, yeah. as well, right? So like if you become a subscriber, you get. Uh, an emote from me that you can use in the chat and you might get access to certain things on my discord and every channel is different, but uh, the emotes are the big thing. Indeed. I want my first emote, please. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> A question from Ed. So they already have your charge card. As I said, Twitch is part of Amazon, so if you've got Amazon Prime, then yes, they already have your uh, credit or debit card, depending on which you use. But that is the method that actually used to pay you as well. So you've got to have some method by which they can pay you. Yeah, yeah there's uh, there's multiple. Sorry, you were kind of freezing up there for a moment. All right, uh, okay. There's I'm multiple gonna... ways you can get paid from them. It doesn't have to be a credit card, but... Yeah, if you already have an Amazon Prime, they're already gonna they're already gonna have your uh, your information. Yeah, but you purchase these you purchase bits and you purchase subscriptions. So yeah, that was a statement. Yeah. There we have. Oh, I see. Okay, you see. <laughs> okay, fine. 
Right, okay. That's that we've caught that up. Okay. All good. Right, okay. Um so yeah, Robert's uh, links in the uh, description there. If you want right. to uh, buy Facebook, it's an ebook. It's only five dollars, and yep. uh, from what I understand, he'll be. Uh, he's only doing that for the next few days, and then it's gone. At least that deal's yeah. gone. Yep, indeed, indeed. And I, what I do hope is, I mean, it is a good buy at the moment, and it's, it's a bargain really for all the information that's in there. But this is something that he can actually run with and expand um, into a full. I mean, it's good for what it is, excellent. But you can actually expand it and do a whole runoff of things um, in different areas. So uh, it's a good base to actually be starting from. And say goodbye to Guy. Uh, there are plans afoot. Have a great week, Guy. And All right. look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Right, okay. This is the 19th of November 2018, wherever you are in the world, apart from if you're in Australia, but we'll concentrate on the uh, USA and the UK and Europe. Uh, at 1600 hours, uh, no, 1100 hours today, a deed was done by myself and RJ Redden. Uh, we've been working collaboratively on a Udemy course, and at that time today, uh, she and I pressed the button and submitted that course to Udemy and it's now under review and we're waiting to see what happens exciting times you never know yeah. I mean, it, I mean the, the, the Udemy review is probably one of the strictest going uh, it's RJ's first course so they, they take a close look at it but hopefully uh, as we promised by Black Friday the course bots for broadcasters will be in your local Udemy store um and it's been it, we it's been a good adventure um we pushed yeah. each other we, you know and because of uh, be live going to twitch we've been able to do some of the content creation through be live going to twitch so uh, okay it's in links together yes and we have something we have to work on too you and i and we do we do we, we're, I'm, I think we're we, behind the original plan but uh yeah well we the, the thing is we've got to have a situation where we're not um, trying to to document something which is changing, because mm. I mean we've got the first release of Be Live for Twitch, yeah, and it's missing bits. Yes. So, so as soon as those yeah. missing bits, pun intended. <laughs> Indeed. And but say hello. You can work on. Sorry. Say hello to uh, who are we saying hello to Alfredo. Alfredo, yeah. Hello, Alfredo, who is yeah. active in the. Uh, Twitch community as well. Um, Stephen, I put a poll up there. I'm not sure if you're seeing it. No, I can't see a poll. Okay. Well, there's a poll up there. And uh, the simple question is, do you use Amazon Prime? Okay. And, and there's a yes, a no, and then there's a, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't word it quite like that. But, no, 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 uh, I did totally understand. <laughs> Kelly's Hi. here as well. Hello, Kelly. Uh, Kelly's also uh, he. Well, he's a regular follower in um, on my Twitch channel, and he's yeah. a regular follower of everything we do around here. And so he says, yeah. no, he has Netflix and the rest of the free stuff on Roku. Free is good. Yeah, free is good. I like. I don't think there's anybody who argue free. There still are some limitations uh, on free sometimes. You know, like I have a, an Android box. Some right. movies are free, but sometimes the quality isn't always so great, and so is reliability issues and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, uh, talking of boxes, I'm waiting for a box from Amazon. The Amazon Black Friday, Black Friday sale is on, starting on the 16th, and uh, there was an offer I couldn't refuse. And for me, that's something. It's an Amazon Echo, because they're the, that's the gear to have. And uh, I've got uh, echo arriving sometime in the next three hours to join its two echo dot cousins and i'm looking forward to that because that will be the sound center uh throughout the house really so this is the you uh, we, you have echo dots already yeah i got two echo dots and, and this, this is, is the echo senior so what's that the big one the, yeah 
Yeah, it's on it's on sale on Amazon at the moment. Oh, uh, don't. Tell me. I don't <laughs> well, it's it's it is a speaker in its own right. So, I mean, I've got Amazon Prime, I've got my music, so I may as well uh, play my music throughout the house. Is what I'm thinking as well. My my buddy Roger, who first introduced me to Alexa, yeah. Uh, said to me the other day, uh, Alexa's on sale right now, but I didn't want to tell you because you already have four <laughs> in your house. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we've got a bad exchange rate. It's $1 for one pound, which is, you know, what normal exchange rate would be $1.25 for a pound. Uh, so we always pay over the odds. But uh, in this case, they knocked, they gave a 40% discount on it. So not to be missed, really. Well, I don't even see it on mine. I'm I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> but it's the Amazon. It's the what's it called? It's called the Echo. Amazon Echo. Echo. Right, and just read uh, Ed's comment while David's surfing. Uh, I bought Prime to buy things. Yeah, okay, that's a good reason for having it because as David said earlier, it's the free delivery. But then I bought Amazon TV uh, mainly to use Kodi. But since then, I've started watching Prime TV. Then my kid got Netflix, so I'm more connected. Yeah, I mean, we've got the beauty of it now is that we can actually watch box sets whenever we want, and you can watch two or three episodes and any time of day or night. Uh, if you were to if wake, were to wake up, up at two, in, two the morning, in the morning, you morning you go, go off, and, off watch and watch half an half hour, an hour of, of <laughs> homecoming. homecoming. Is so, that it, right? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So is there a special, so is there price? A special price? $129.99. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that what you got it for? No, no. You pay less? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did you pay? I, I paid. I paid. got an echo. got an echo. I, I paid $54.99, which is oh. the equivalent of about $75. Yeah, that hasn't happened here yet. Yes, um, let's. Um, speaking of echoes, there was an echo. <laughs> <laughs> echoes everywhere. So, yeah. uh, and I learned this last week, and I'm still just getting in the habit of remembering. So, each each person up on screen or each screen on screen has its own volume. And I, when you share, when you screen share, they've included audio now, so you can share videos, yeah. etc. The problem is if you don't mute it. Yeah. Then when okay. you talk or anybody else talks, it creates an echo, yeah. which is a slight bit of a problem because I know when I do it on Twitch, I play videos uh, and myself and the guests were, were maybe talking about that video and what's going on. So, but the good people at Be Live, yes, um, are working on it because I've, I've been in touch with them and yeah. And, uh, They've been handling me correctly, directly, I should say. Excellent. So, but I just have to get in the habit of clicking on that little mute button because I forget. Yeah. yeah. So that was $129. Did yeah. I get the best bargain ever then? Wow. I'm very you, happy now. I just made you even feel better, didn't I? <laughs> it does, yeah. I got it half price. The, the Echo Dot. Yeah. Which is $69.99. All right. That's on sale in the UK for forty dollars. Yeah, well, these ones usually drop on. Yeah, I'd be waiting if anybody wanted that because I got mine like right here at the store. Yeah. I remember my first two I bought were. Oh, I don't know. If you bought two, you got fifteen dollars off. So I don't know. It was okay. Like yeah. Both. And then at one time I bought my other two. Thirty nine ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine. So if you wait, yeah, they'll yeah, show up. yeah. Well, that was definitely right place, right time. Yeah. <sighs> well, let's check in on our poll here. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Sixty seven percent are saying yes, they have Amazon Prime. One says nope. Okay. Uh, that's it. So there's uh, three votes out there. So yeah, right. we're asking, do you have Amazon Prime? So it's, it's official. 67% of people throughout 
Canada, the USA, and UK have Prime. There you go. You can't extrapolate that, can you? Um, I can try. Right. Here's uh, I, it's just uh, something exciting that's coming to our town. Okay, okay. The, the tall ships. Oh wow! Are, wow. Are coming uh, to Sarnia August 9th through the 11th, and this is fabulous. Uh, the tall ships, and we've got the blue nose coming, and uh, yeah, this has just been announced over the last little while, and they're partnering with some other things here. But uh, some more really exciting things coming with the tall ships. I can't wait to tell you. Okay, <laughs> uh, but I have to wait for official reasons. But it's, I know. Uh, it's don't, don't you hate it when somebody tells you something and says, "Don't <laughs> tell anybody." I mean, that's got to be one of the worst things that somebody could do to you. That well, you, that Stephen, you, let me ask you, do you know how to keep a secret? Not tell anybody. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but it's, 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 you've got this knowledge and you, you want to tell the world, but you think, well, no, if, if I tell the world, then I don't get any more knowledge that I can't tell the world about. So you bite your tongue and just sort of, you know, say, well, there may be something. Oh. There might be something. I don't really know because you can't. Yeah. yeah. Imagine yeah. being um, ten years old, uh -huh. and you're on a television show called Canada's Smartest Person Junior. I don't know if you've seen anything about this on my show. I have. Yeah, but yeah, good. But he's, uh, well, he's eleven years old now. But Liam Henderson, who's from our city, was on Canada's Smartest Person Junior ever. And, of course, it was recorded all back in August. Okay. So he knew whether or not he was eliminated. Ah. Now, that's a secret in a half, He's isn't it? He's not allowed. He's contractually not allowed by CBC yeah. to zip. Yep. And you're not allowed to uh, talk to the media without permission. I, I had to go through... Uh, well, I've dealt with CBC before, but I still had to go through a process with CBC to even be allowed to interview him on my Facebook show. You had to be authorized and checked. I had to, I had to be authorized, and and what am I doing? And what am I? Yeah, it was quite a process. Which I've, I, I'm okay with that. I get why, and I've been through that process with like yeah. musicians before so it's very similar. But yeah, but imagine being that young age and having to bite your tongue and. You know, <gasps> shh, 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 don't tell anybody. And literally, he yeah. didn't tell anybody. And of course, the media here in town, the, all the newspapers interviewed him. He was on the radio stations, and they all kind of tried to get a bit of a. So, can you give us a hint? And he was like, "Nope, sorry." But <laughs> 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 it, it was great. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the things happening all the time, and things that we we just can't talk about it because. The people who should say have got to be given time to say. Fair, it's yeah. fair. It's annoying, but it's fair. Um, yeah. yeah, Kelly's. Uh, I don't know. He's laughing at me. Talking next August two thousand nineteen, ten months away. Yeah, I, I absolutely am talking ten months away because it's very exciting that they're coming, and uh, yeah. there's more to be added to all of this. That's uh, really going to put it over the top. So yeah, I'll be talking about it a lot. It's, uh, Kelly, Kelly just, he likes to, he likes to pick on me sometimes, <laughs> but he keeps coming around. We like, we like coming around. <laughs> yep. Right. Can I talk about a couple of shows that are happening, uh, this week? You, you We've talk. talked about the Friday show, which is, yeah. is we're both involved with, which is a 12 hour charity broadcast by funds. Yeah. And you should hear about it every single day this week. Uh, two of the shows. If you love chocolate, tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern, uh, Dan Nelson, who owns the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory in Wiltshire, uh, will be live on his own page, and he will be doing a live cooking demonstration of how to make raw chocolate using his raw chocolate making kit. Now, this is just it's a great show to watch. It's only last 30 minutes, and the Beautiful thing about it is that you'll, if you attend the show, you actually get something, and also you get a very special discount on your own chocolate making kit. So if you want to look out for, this is a good time to do it actually. If you're looking for that surprise present 
for your partner, then this is the show to watch at two o'clock tomorrow because you can get a chocolate making kit at a special price. And also you can then either two things, you can give us a present at Christmas or you can actually make the chocolates yourself on the day for after the Christmas meal, up to you. But two o'clock tomorrow, uh, Dan Nelson uh, and chocolate. Uh, yep. You said this is the owner of the Willy Wonka factory. What well, it really is a Willy Wonka factory? <laughs> no, it's not the real. That's what they call it. Uh, Dan and his wife started making chocolate in their kitchen uh, six, seven years ago. Yeah. And uh, three years ago, they moved into a factory. And the factory has a nickname of the Willy Wonka chocolate oh, factory. Okay. So it's just a nickname. But it is a chocolate. They make chocolate. That's all they yeah. do. Well, I heard you talk about them. Like, I remember last year yep. you talked about them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a good half-hour show, 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. And Dan will be giving the demonstration. It's on the elements. For, it's be on my page. If you look at my page, you'll find it from there. On the um, yeah, yeah. Okay. It'll be on the live video, definitely. Um, right, okay. And that talking of chocolate, uh, not talking of chocolate, it's round three of the search for two co-hosts for Linda West, and that's at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. And four new people will be talking about what they can bring to the show, which launches in January. So 3 p.m. Eastern to watch live. Uh, it's like search for a star, I suppose. Uh, Torch live yeah. and vote for your favorites. That's it. Over. Done. Oh, it's search for a star. I remember, what was that called? Ed McMahon. Do you remember Ed McMahon? Yes, the name rings a bell. He yeah. was a co host to, for Johnny Carson. Mm -hmm. And he did a show back. It was called Star Search. That's what it was. Right. Back in, wow. That was a long time ago. Ed McMahon's star search. I, I won't tell anybody. That was before this Canadian Idol, American Idol, or whatever Idol, yeah. or your sing song, whatever. I don't, The Voice. That's the one I'm trying to think of. The Voice. I don't watch them. Yeah. I don't have cable television, and I just, I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, we've got our own version of The Voice and of uh, Idol as well in the UK. Um, yeah. And you, you sort of with these series, you out of curiosity, you watch the first couple, and then you sort of lose interest. Is it that Britain's Got Talent? Is that what you're talking about? Britain's Got Talent is, is another show that, that grew out of it, all by Simon Cowell. Um, the moment, the show of the moment, which started last night, is uh, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh, <laughs> which is which is set in the Australian jungle. And right. they've been, been doing this since 2003. So this is the 15th series. And basic idea is that 12 uh, celebrities are taken off into the Australian jungle and left to fend them for themselves for up to three weeks. And oh. uh, it's, it's, you know, bushcraft, uh, cooking, everything. They've got to look after themselves. They've got to enter the done in latrine they've got to wash in a stream in other words they've got to do without all the comforts that they're used to and uh they've got quite a few uh celebs who are actually involved this year um and you watch for the first couple of episodes just to get a feel for it right yeah i don't uh i'm not a big fan of reality shows all right I, well, I, <laughs> except from? except the one that's not on anymore, and that's The Apprentice with, <laughs> with Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you want them to bring that one back, do you? I love that show. <laughs> it was great. You're yeah. fired. <laughs> you're fired. You're fired. How many ways, how many different ways can you say, you're fired? You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, uh, indeed, especially the celebrity one. I always like the celebrity ones with him, but yeah. Uh, well, he's still got his own show now. It's just uh, it involves the world. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like Survivor. Kelly's talking like Ladby like Survivor. Like, like yeah. I remember when that all started, and you know, it was everybody had to watch and what's going to happen. It's it's like 
Yeah. Big Brother and I mean, yeah. how how real is a reality show? Well, it's not. Like they know that cameras are on. Yep. I don't think there's a little bit of extra um, acting going on there. Maybe. Um, Precious <laughs> thought. Precious <laughs> thought. Um, no, they, they, I mean, the first series or anything is just is it, you're actually interested because it's new and you want to know what happens. And then as they do one series after another after another, I mean, Big Brother actually changed television channels in the UK because it became unpopular. Now it's popular again. Oh, is that right? uh, You know, um, they all have their place. They all have their place. Kelly wants uh, Donald Trump to, can he number 45 fire himself? I don't no. know what, that, what he means by number 45, but. Uh, 45th president of the United States. Oh, is, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, we're a team. Uh, can he fire himself? He can resign anytime. Yeah. He can resign anytime. I, it's open to him. Uh, I mean, we've got the situation in the UK at the moment. We don't do politics really, just a short story. Uh, our Prime Minister, uh, Mrs. Theresa May, has brought back um, what is a draft agreement between the UK and the EU because we're leaving 29th of March next year. And we need to know what to do about banking, about trade, about employment, about immigration. So they've reached an agreement. Um, but unfortunately for her, 20% of her party don't agree with what she's brought back. So at the moment, she's fighting for her own job as well as the um, agreement she's actually got. And you've got the same situation in the States as well. I mean, there are people. The, the problem is that, that each country has become polarized. There is a right and a left in all countries. I mean, if you go to Australia, if you go to France, if you go to Germany, if you go Holland, Belgium, wherever you go, uh, we've got politics which have been divided. There's no middle ground at the moment. Anyway, that's my... my, my yeah, my... It's, so that's official. You, you say uh, you guys are moving on March 29th? Is that what you said? Yeah, we have nothing to do. We, we, we voted in 2016. It's written in stone. Uh, unless something dramatic happens, we will be still be part of Europe, but we won't be part of the EU, which is a financial political right. structure. So you'll have your own economy now. Yeah, we go. Basically, the idea is that we get back uh, immigration, so that we can decide who comes into the country, rather than the group of uh, the EU deciding. We get control of our own monetary policy. In other words, we don't have to pay money into the EU. We can just look after ourselves. Um, but there are also there's pros and cons. It's very very complicated, and our government spent. 21 months working out an agreement and now nobody in the uk can actually well very few people can actually agree to the agreement so <laughs> crazy world it's a crazy uh, world. an ever-changing world indeed it totally is thank goodness for chickens thank goodness for chickens <laughs> well uh, diversions diversions i yeah. i'm using chickens as a, a we gotta get the chicken. elephants out of the room <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need the chickens to chase them, or I don't know. Uh, no, chickens are chickens are brilliant. Chickens don't give you any trouble at all. They're apolitical. They don't have any opinions at all on politics, and they lay fresh eggs every morning. Opinions. That's what gets us into trouble in the first place. <laughs> well, yeah, it does. I remember we need uh, we need a benevolent dictator. <laughs> 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 I remember. Uh, in grade nine, taking computers. Okay. And my my uh, uh, computer teacher, there were still chalkboards. That was, this was in the 80s. And he wrote his name on the board, and he says, that's my name. Okay. And yeah. I am a benevolent dictator. And, of course, we all sat there. We only knew one word, which was dictator. Okay. Yep. And when we heard dictator, all we thought of was Hitler. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's the connection. <laughs> and he didn't know. He says, and if you don't know what benevolent means, I would strongly advise you to get out a dictionary <laughs> and look it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we did. We had to go over. We had. We didn't have internet. We went over and no. grabbed a book out off the shelf, the Webster's Dictionary. Yeah. 
the days I'm before not internet. Not here with benevolent it is either. Go look it up. <laughs> I'll look it up. You go look it up. <laughs> but nowadays, you look it up online. You type in benevolent into into Google, and it will come back with uh, derivation and the spelling and the phonetics for right. it. And you could translate it into another language. And we're so lucky to I be. Found, uh, uh, here. I found a really cool website. Well, I think it's cool because I do a lot of writing, typing stuff. Okay. It's a case sensitive. Um, you know how sometimes you like you'll get a message that's typed in all caps. Oh yeah, I, hate I do a lot of copy and paste and stuff. Yeah. Well, you can copy this and go to this website, and and paste your wording into it, and you can tell it if you want it all uppercase, all lowercase, if you want it paragraph sensitive, sentence sensitive, yeah. and it does all these automatic changes for oh, you. Fine. That's and good. Then, yeah, that's handy for me. Yeah, do you have a link? Um, of course, See, I don't. A of course, you do. Uh, okay, Stephen, you're making me multitask everything today. I know, I know. I'm, I'm pushing the limits um, because we can. Okay, uh, right, convert now. So this weekend is, well, Thursday is Thanksgiving, Friday is Black Friday, we get the weekend off, then it's Cyber Monday. Um, and we've got both those things in the UK, so we can't escape here. Uh, and it's a day when Amazon go crazy. Um, I think yeah. we talked about that last week, though. Yeah, we, um, well, it's interesting for us here because we live right on the border of the good old USA. Yeah. And um, although the, uh, things have changed a little bit over there, it used to be Black Friday used to be really big over there. Now they time it differently. And uh, some places are even closed on the Thanksgiving and never used to be. But like, well, this week, like I say, I work at the radio station most of this week because yeah. it's shop local and Black Friday or Black yep. Friday sales are on starting already. And uh yeah and then cyber monday yeah we do that too and i don't know i like i think i'm going to start having christmas on december the 27th <laughs> <laughs> well so, yeah yeah uh we're not long off are we we're heading there we're only sort of really just over four weeks and it will yeah, be christmas it'll be here before you know it yeah uh, like we're already talking Christmas around here, and then I, I got a Christmas parade coming up. I'll be broadcasting on December the first. Yeah, so well, we, we're fortunate. We, we're next. We're near to Salisbury and Salisbury Cathedral. Oh yeah. And we've got uh, BBC Radio Wiltshire, which is the broadcaster for the whole of the county, and they hold their carol service and record their carol service. Uh, the middle of December for broadcast on the 25th, 24th and 25th. So Angelica's booked our seats in the church in, in the cathedral. Uh, we'll be there in December for the, the carol concert. And basically you've got, it's, it's just a fantastic experience because you've got the glory of the cathedral itself. And then you have the, uh, the cathedral choir. Yeah. And you've got speakers from local radio reading the uh, lessons. And then in addition to that, you've got local, because Wiltshire is a military uh, county, a lot of military bases around Wiltshire. Right. Um, and therefore you have a military band as well. So it's quite a great occasion. So we're looking forward to that. Love and that. you can catch it on BBC Radio Wiltshire. And you possibly hear myself and Angelica singing, though probably not, uh, if you listen to Wilts Radio Wiltshire on the 24th and 25th of December. Don't threaten us. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought of starting your own radio station online? Oh, yeah. I did, like, years ago when I first okay. started. I was trying to decide, am I going to do video? Am I going to do audio? Um, I had, I had up until very recently, actually, I had something online that I really didn't promote. It wasn't out there a lot. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I just, I don't have the time. Yeah. The time. No, that, that, that's, that's the thing. I mean, I, I just took a look at live365.com. 
Oh, yeah. the, the only reason I did is that they've now got the uh, performance rights, not only in the in the US and Canada, but in the UK as well, which means that you could run a music show uh, yeah. without fear of being busted. Um, yeah. And that quite entices me, just to be able to do an hour of, of 60s, 70s or 80s music and just chat around the music. Well, I, I the one I had, I used uh, Sam Cloud. Okay, yeah. And um, and I have a whole bunch of music that I uploaded, and I was making commercials, and then I had it running where you could go and you could actually uh, see all the music I had, make your own. It was all automated, and you could jump in and go live anytime. Like it was, it was quite a system. It was I was only like fifteen bucks a month, so it wasn't very expensive. Yeah. Um. But I yeah I just told him, I I'm like okay, but I'm a video guy. That's yeah. what I do. I do live talk shows, well, I do video, and that's my brand so yeah i don't have time yeah. to put that. focus focus yeah i mean I, it's there's it's great opportunities out there for people if they want to run their own little radio station and and do it properly it's it's it costs you a little bit of money but it yeah. won't break it shouldn't excuse me it shouldn't break the bank or anything but uh live 365 i i had an internet radio station like way back even before video okay uh, yeah, long time ago, and I used Live 365, but that was also at a time where um, we were just like like Facebook hadn't been born yet. We just just had the internet. Yeah. Live 365 was born, and I ran it out of my uh, one bedroom apartment that I had at the time, and I had people come over and do interviews. Yeah, um, and I used Live 365, but that was at a time when there weren't any rules yet. The Wild West. But really, it wasn't. It was the Wild West. Like you could, you played music or whatever. Nobody cared. It was like, but yeah. I mean, that was around Napster time, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Napster was the one that changed the industry. He screwed it up for everybody. Yeah. Napster was the one that frightened them. <laughs> so the yeah, I was doing all of that, and I had I had quite a following actually. Uh, I wish yeah. I still had some of that stuff to play. I don't know where I would even find it now, but. Uh, That's a few computers ago. Oh, yeah. Like, I would have been... Oh, man, it's... It's it's 15... Well, let's see. Julie's 21. So it's easily 20, 17 to 20 years ago. Right. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> ah, <on> that <laughs> that, <note. laughs> we'll wow. change tack again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah pioneering times for sure so um and that was uh but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun but video didn't kill the radio star yeah i don't know that's what kelly says <laughs> i don't know video killed the radio star that was the first music video played on much music or, or mtv when they first right. started yeah yeah um you know i don't think radio is ever going to go anywhere it might change how it looks a little bit yeah. but um, you know, even local radio, like there's always a spot you're going to turn your car on your radio, you know, whatever you, yeah. you might pay for it. Like you do satellite radio, but I don't think radio is ever going to go anywhere. Totally, totally agree. It has its place like podcasts. Yeah. And internet radio is very popular. Yeah. Totally. Even, uh, our local radio station, if you wanted to listen to it, you'd go to chok.com and they, they stream yeah. three stations out. There's, a, there's a, a radio station coming out of uh, Cambridge, which is where Fonz is, and yeah. uh, they now do the broadcast, but they actually do the live video as well. Yeah. So they do, they do the interviews live on air just from the studio. Um, they don't use the live yet. I think Fonz is working on them. Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, I've tried to get my local radio station to say, hey, you should have me here in the mornings, and I should just be... Yeah, streaming your talk show, but even just the morning shows. That's right. That's right. It's extra publicity. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I We're, on the se <laughs> We're on the same page. And Kelly's saying there are a lot of podcasts now. There are more and more podcasts. Um, oh. I mean, Joel Com has gone golden uh, on his Bitcoin podcast. Right. Um, they've reached a, a mega audience and uh, he's, he melded somebody 
who knows something about Bitcoin and the guy taught him over a series of shows and it's gone way beyond that. Sorry. And uh, they're taking the Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, podcasts. 2019 has been not only the year of video, but the year of podcasts. Yeah. I mean, I can my weekly show. Um, I haven't done it with us. Yeah. I maybe should. I don't know. But, um, uh, you know, I'm available on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify now. And uh, yeah. that's all done through Anchor that I do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, Anchor's brilliant. It's just time, though. I mean, I've got it. It's the time to actually sit down and do it and or repurpose something or create something new. Uh, so on my list of changes for 2019, because we're headed there, is to yeah. sort of set half an hour aside each week just to do the podcast. I think it's, you know. Well, what I do is I use that repurpose.io. It converts it to yeah. an MP3 for me, and then all I have to do is upload it to Anchor. Right, okay. It, it sends it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So yeah. That just takes seconds for me, but uh, I, uh, I've got this uh, website up, convert convertcase.net yeah and it's it's handy handy dandy yeah i hate it when people send messages in caps i mean i know it's to get attention but it, it just turns me off i just think i, I switch off i literally switch, I literally switch off, off. Caps, 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 email, caps, email, caps in an email caps in a message I think, yeah, I think, I, i've had a couple people do that and one lady said well it's because i have trouble seeing well, that, well so that's, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah, I have a yeah. solution for that. <laughs> there it is, right there. Okay, okay. Put your glasses on. <laughs> uh, convertcase.net. So, yeah, you would just uh, you just paste it all in there, and then you can pick. You want sentence case, you want uh, lowercase, you want uppercase, capitalized case. It's it's really a fantastic. Uh, I find it very handy. Excellent. Handy, handy. Yeah. Um, so you're having fun on Twitch. I uh, I'm definitely having fun on Twitch. I uh, I'm interviewing people slowly and but surely, getting through my list of people to uh, to talk to, uh, and it's it's good fun. It's a totally different vibe from uh, Facebook and. Yeah. Uh, it's a way of getting the message out. Mm -hmm. Are you in now? Are, are I know you're broadcasting there. Yeah. Have you been engaging with other channels? I've been watching other channels. I mean, I watch a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I've tried my best. Yeah. Try my best. But it's, it's, I'm getting into it slowly because watching other people play games is not something I've done too often before. Yeah. Um, but I am watching other people on podcasts. And being amazed by some of the variety of podcast podcasters that are video podcasters that are out there. Yourself? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I I always I'm I'm always into other channels. I'm into other discords, and I mean it's a community yeah. relationship thing. Right? So um, yeah. I'm constantly reaching out to people. I'm in some Facebook groups where uh, you can sh you can share your Twitch channel, but in a certain way, you can't just drop your link and say go yeah. watch. Um, and I send messages to people and I just say, yeah. Hey, I have a project I'm doing on Twitch. Um, you may or may not be interested. Could I share some information with you? I ask their permission. Yeah. And, uh, when they say yes, I go, great. And it says, I am David Burroughs and this is what I do. And I'd be interested. And I try to get them interested in my Twitch talk show. All right. And yeah. From, it's, it's been growing. So yeah, I, I engage a lot. Okay. I right. watch a lot too that I don't engage in. Kelly's made a comment. Um, I've got my first question has got to be what is a raid? You don't know what a raid is? No. Oh, okay. So when you're live, so uh -huh. okay, let's say I'm live on my stream tonight and yep. you're also live. When I'm uh -huh. about to end my stream, I can raid your channel. So what that means is, um, by a little command in the chat, I can yeah. type slash raid 
space and then the name of the channel okay. and it takes all the people that are currently in my channel and watching okay. and sends them over to your channel oh, that's good you automatically get viewers yep. and people usually you know use uh, you usually say like okay we're gonna raid Stephen healy and folks you know stick around there for a little bit check him out and if you like what he's doing follow his channel so raids are, are a great way to build relationships right gotcha gotcha you know? um, and uh, hosting is another way yep so when you're live i'm live and when i'm live you're live that kind of thing but yeah a raid okay. is you, you raid the uh, channels last night i had my twitch talk show and my my buddy gandor olap came on yeah actually uh, gandor yeah kelly was there gandor olap then followed and watched for a bit so this is somebody i've connected with a few weeks ago and we we established a relationship tonight i went live and he was already live and he decided to end his stream to come and be on my show and so he brought over eight viewers so this yeah it was up to like 16 concurrent at one point right. um and then when we were done he went live again and i said well i'll rage you back so yeah yeah gotcha understood right on and john upton's got a different understanding of raid redundant array of inexpensive discs oh john i've got to have john on the show but he's probably <laughs> yeah. sleeping he's probably sleeping when i'm on <laughs> well you're on at 8 30 aren't you you're 8 30. um no three oh today i'm 30? on 3 30 in the afternoon today oh that's only 8 30 for, for john right well maybe right. we'll have him Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, look at what time it is. Pardon me. Look at me talking so much. Um, so, yeah, real quick, uh, before we go, quick plug. Tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern, I will be live on Twitch. It is Father versus Son Night, which means my son Jason joins me. And I pretty much kicks my butt in whatever we play. Uh, although I will say last week we played golf with friends and I beat him by two strokes. So I'm really, really super excited for that because I've never there's, beat him. There's, 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 no, there's, competitive there's no competitive spirit. Is there. Spirit is there. <laughs> no, not at all. Well, I always say it's like when you were a kid, you know, you played your dad checkers and you tried to, you know, beat your dad at something. Yeah. It's yeah. the same thing, but the roles are reversed. I'm trying to beat the kid because he's better at the games than me. <laughs> So we uh, we have a lot of fun with that, yeah. So that, check that out tonight, Stephen. Final thoughts, buddy. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, great week of broadcasting coming up on Facebook and Twitch. Join us when you can. I uh, look forward to seeing you. Have a great week. Fantastic, Stephen. As always, thanks for joining, buddy. And uh, thanks to all of you for watching. And if you enjoyed the show, give us a ten, like that. Ten in the comments below. Uh, if you didn't like us, don't do anything but come back and give us another chance next week and type replay exactly. if you're joining the replay. Thanks. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Bye.